Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to debug your VR application in your headset without having to go on your laptop or test your application in Unity. This is going to make fixing errors much faster and going to allow us to check the performance of our application inside the headset. So the first thing we want to have is the basic scene setup with our custom hands inside our OVR player controller. Then we want to create a UI canvas and we're going to call this canvas debug canvas. And then from there, we want to change it to world space, set the width to 1000, the height to 700, the positions to zero, and then the scale to 0.001 for X, Y, and Z. As you can see, we have our canvas right now. We're going to put the position at one for now so we can see the elements under it. So then we're going to go and create an image inside of it and call it background or BG and then set the width to 1000 and height 700 and select the dialogue just for the background. You can choose any background for your canvas. After that, we're going to create a text and call it title and then set the width to 900 and the height to 100. Then we're going to change the font size to 40 and let's just call it debug console and then change the color to white and put it at the top of our canvas next thing we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate this title text and call the other object debug text and we're gonna drag it down a little bit set the height to 500 and then fix the positioning again and as you can see, it is within the bounds of our canvas. And then change the font size to 30. Now we're going to go to our title and just change the color so we can differentiate it from the regular text. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and create another canvas. And we're going to call this one FPS Canvas. And this is going to be for our frames per second that's going to be at the top right corner of our view. So we're going to change the render mode to screen space camera and then put the center eye anchor in the render camera. After that, we want to go ahead to UI and then text and create a new text object under our FPS canvas call it FPS text. We're going to set the scale to 0.1 and then the width to 1600 and the height to 500. After that, we're going to set the position to 250 for X and 150 for Y and change the font size to 300 change the color to white and make the font bold. And for example, it's going to look like that. We're going to put FPS 72. And if we go to the game view, you can see that it's at the top right of our view. Next thing we want to go to our scripts folder. We want to create C sharp script, call it console to text. And then we want to create two more scripts, one called FPS and one called VR debug. We're going to go and as you can see, we have them all open and then we'll start with console to text, delete the first two lines and then put using unity engine.ui. After that, we want to go ahead and delete the start and update function and declare a public text debug text string output and set it to empty string string stack and also set it to empty string. Then we're going to put on enable. And then we're going to put application log message received plus equals handle log. And then we're going to put debug log log enabled. After that, we're going to put on disable and then we're going to do the same thing, but put minus equal handle log. 
and then we want to clear the log when we disable it so now we're going to create the functions the first one handle log and it takes parameters string log string string stack trace and log type type inside we want to set the output to log string plus a new line character plus the output and then for the stack we want to set it to stack trace and then go create our on gui and put debug text dot text equal to output and then the clear log function we're just going to set the output equal to an empty string next thing we're going to go to our vr debug script and we're going to put using unity engine dot ui as well we're going to keep our star and update and then declare it public game object ui public game object ui anchor and private boolean ui active in the start function we want to go ahead and set ui dot set active dot false and then ui active also to false and then we want to check if our button is pressed you can choose any button but i'm going to choose four and then put UI active equal to not UI active. So if it's disabled, then it's going to enable it and the opposite. And then UI dot set active to UI active. And then if UI is active, then we want to set the UI dot transform dot position to the UI active, sorry, to the UI anchor dot transform dot position. And then we want to set UI dot transform dot Euler angles to a new vector three with UI anchor dot transform dot Euler angle dot X and do the same thing for Y and then we're going to put zero for Z so the canvas doesn't rotate with our hands. And then we want to check if the player presses the right trigger first and we're just going to debug a message just so we can make sure that our debug console works. And we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do that with our left trigger. And now we can go to our FPS script. We're going to delete the first two lines and also put using unity engine dot UI. And then we're going to go ahead, declare text FPS text and a public int refresh rate and set it to 10 by default. And then an int frame counter and then a float total time. In our start function, we want to set our FPS text to get component text and then set the frame counter zero and the total time to zero. In the update function, we want to check if the frame counter equals the refresh rate. And if it does, then we're going to create a new float called average FPS and we're going to set it equal to one divided by total time over our refresh rate. And then we're going to set the FPS text dot text to the average FPS in a string format with one decimal and then frame counter to zero and then reset total time also to zero. Otherwise, we're going to set total time and add to it time dot delta time and the frame counter plus plus. Lastly, we're just going to go to our VR debug and remove some lines that we don't need. And we're now ready to go back to Unity. Now that we're back in Unity, we can go ahead and go and put our VR debug script on our event system and then drag our debug canvas into the UI field. And then we want to go ahead under our left hand and create an object called UI anchor. And this is going to be where our canvas attaches to. And as you can see, we want to attach it to our left hand but we don't want it to be directly on top of it. So we're going to move it a bit forward. So our canvas appears in front of our hand. Then we're going to go and just drag the UI anchor into the UI anchor in VR debug. Then we're going to go to our FPS text and add the FPS script to it. And make sure your refresh rate is 10 or whichever you like, depends on how fast you want it to refresh. Then go to debug text and add or console to text script and add the debug text to the debug text field. We are now ready to go check in our headset and see if our canvases work properly. 
As you can see, we have our FPS counter on the top right corner, which is going to help us check the performance of the game. And then when we press the button that we selected, we see our debug console enabled. And it registers debug log events correctly. And if we go ahead and disable and enable it, then it's going to clear the log just like we put in the script. Hopefully this makes the process of debugging much faster. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you would like next. Thank you for watching.